Hello YouTube, this is Mike again in Detroit. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. Hopefully the title of this video didn't scare you off. Uh, but I wanted to lay to rest some rumors that's running around. Running around um, regarding, you know, the realities of what it takes to learn well, not only music, any old instrument. I think the same thing is true in learning basketball or learning Spanish or learning anything. This whole notion that is quick, it's learn piano in 30 minutes and speak Spanish in two weeks. All that stuff that's flying around in the marketing world that's trying to hook you for your 1995 as they say in the barbershop, I say it's a bunch of baloney. That's a bunch of baloney. There's some truth here. It's some hard truth, but if you know it and you're ready to go through that process, there's great reward on the other side. So, let me dispel the big elephant in the room. And I, I think I've mentioned this in other videos, but I'm, this is the elephant in the room. If you are an adult, and you want to learn an instrument, guitar, trumpet, saxophone, piano. You want to learn the inner workings, the mechanics of that instrument before you run to impress somebody with the songs you know how to play. Songs will come. They just will. They just will. But the exercises, um, th let's just take the piano. A good teacher uh, can tell you the physical part of playing the piano, um, how to hold your hands, how to sit, uh, where to place yourself. So that just like a baseball coach would, they'll watch you in the batter's box and they'll put your feet where, they, where it needs to be and they'll put your hands where it needs to be. A life coach will do the same thing. So even though you're working, you're working towards something. You're not developing bad habits. Uh, so let's take let's take a couple of examples of uh, what I mean by this, and we'll do it at a couple of different levels. Beginners need to know their triads, right? say do you know something that means you got it you just pop it off you just pop it off if i say f try it don't even think about it if i say b flat what version you want you play this one. how do you get from not knowing to knowing well you just gotta you gotta structure or focus your practice so you don't just walk into your studio or your home piano and start doodling around now you can it's supposed to be a little bit fun but then at some point you're going to go to work what are you working on i'm working on my triads i'm i'm working on root position triads that's what i'm working on i'm going to block out the rest of the world i'm not playing songs right now i'm working on root position triads and i and as a side i want to learn the circle of force because so, I need to know that. So, here we go. First thing you do is get it out of time. There's F, B flat, E flat, uh, A flat, D flat, G flat, B, just done all 12. The other elephant in the room is when you finish, assess. What's your batting average? How many field goals did you kick? 
How honest are you with your piano playing? Now, I'm kind of a little bit lenient as a teacher. I know it's going to come if you keep working at it. But you should be brutally honest. Did you play all 12 correctly? Didn't have to, didn't have not too much uh, 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 uh going on. In other words, do you know it? Okay, so now let's really test it. So now I'm going to put on some rhythm. I got it on pretty slow. Maybe I'll put it on 60 beats a minute. And so here we go. One, two, ready, play. you're making controlled intentional progress maybe your sounds like this one two three four two three four now when you start doing stuff like now you say oh i must have it All right, okay so you know what well, now we're going to take the tempo up maybe let's go to 80 You could be using, I got a drum machine in here, but you could be using a metronome or whatever you use to keep timing. So let's do that again. A little bit harder this time. Exercise, root position triads, circle of force. Here we go. Uh... Practice room. 
Notice I wasn't playing a song. I wasn't, no friends got impressed. Now, why do we practice this way? What is the payoff? If I do that kind of practice, look at the muscle memory I'm going to get. Look at the finger strength I'm going to get. When somebody asks me for an F track, I don't have to think about it anymore. Somebody asks me for a D track, I don't have to think about it. G track, name them off. E flat track. I got it. I got it because I put in the work. Uh, not the slip pass. Kind of got a C triad and an F triad and I just move on because I only play in two keys, so I don't worry about that. In other words, I'm building a strong foundation at the beginner level. Okay, there. I just play one kind of rhythm. Let's get a let's get a different kind of rhythm. Let's do uh, jazz. Let's do eh, slow down a little bit. Same exercise. Uh, and here we go. So now we're going to practice not only root position triads, circle of force, but we're going to kind of syncopate it a little bit. So here we go. you have that what comes next once you have well don't do that before you do this and we, you know, so a good teacher can help you with that so you don't want to be just thrown in the dark uh, for example once you have root position now you want now you want inversion that, doesn't that make sense and now you want to do a inversion exercise I think I made a video on this week or so ago. And let's take that around the circle. So now we got C. First time you do it out of time. F. Where's the closest F? Now we got B flat. Now we got D e flat. Now we got A flat. That happens to be second version. short I only did that because the video would be three four hours long uh, if I did but you don't cut it short you go through the whole exercise just like I did on the first exercise pump it up do it again pump it up do it again do it 10 times 20 times 30 times until your assessment says I got this down cold I got this down cold now let's take care of some of our a little bit more intermediate folks. 
So all that means is we're going to get into different chord versions, like this kind of version. That was a 2-5-1 in the key of C. Okay, so maybe you can play that in the key of C. But can you play it in the key of F? And can you do it in time? Let's try it back in C. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it's not going to work. Let's see. Okay, so let's go back over here. Push a couple buttons. And here we go. These exercises, that wasn't the best, that wasn't the best beat in the world for that, for that little groove. Um, but these exercises train your hands in foundational, uh, maybe you're doing minor 2 five, one. maybe you're doing... Uh, but the point I'm making here is that, uh, you want to do focus practice and sufficient enough that when you say you got it, that, that doesn't mean you can play a song. I can play a song all day long. Now, somebody's going to come along and say, uh, I don't want to sing it in E. I don't want to sing Misty in uh, E flat. I want to sing Misty in... See, okay, nah, nah. back don't lose things that you had before but the truth is that takes a lot of work that takes a lot of work and you know god bless you oh, those of you who are putting in the work whether or not you want to play jazz or gospel maybe just maybe there's a gospel song so that's an elephant in the room don't fall for to play the piano in 30 minutes alone one last point that uh, I, as a piece of a suggestion, I would call it. When you're playing anything, when you're playing anything, uh, it doesn't matter what you're playing. I was just playing. That is a little fragment of I love you, Lord, today. Stop. What and analyze what is going on musically in this song. That's a one chord. That's a four over one. Five. Back to one. Now we're going to the sixth chord by way of two five one. So you so. When you first start playing by these numbers, the analysis of what's going on, that's hard to do. But 
trust me, the more you do it, the easier it is it's going to be to do. And the better your ear will come along because your ear will start filing these numbers as sounds. Um, so, um, so if I uh, want to transfer that to C, I want to, there's a one chord, now I need a four one. Now I need a five chord. So the other piece that I see beginner intermediate students missing is they're content to play the song that they haven't analyzed. Don't do that. Maybe if I did it in F. That's the one chord. I need a four of one. Now what's the five chord in F? C. Now I need a two five one to each minor chord. So I made a couple of points, gave you a couple of examples, but I'm also encouraging you to get your practice focused, get with a good teacher that can say, no, 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 this before that, that before this. The other thing a good teacher can do is put you in good position, encourage you, give you, give you material to play that's at your level, that you can kind of find that sweet spot between your working, but yet you're getting some things accomplished because you don't want to get yourself frustrated trying to learn this beautiful thing called music and remember it's called playing music not working music one more thing i'll say is i'll tell you when i sit down to practice and it doesn't matter how good or bad you are you will be practicing forever what i tend to do is i get a little warm-up going on so i'll play something that I'm familiar with just by way of warm-up. Or, I don't know, I play a... Uh... Something to warm me up. Something I'm kind of familiar with, or maybe I worked on it last week, or whatever, and I think I got it. it could be an exercise, could be, could be a, uh, uh, a, a diatonic exercise, it could be, maybe I'm playing triads. Something like that gets me warmed up. Now... Maybe I'll do that five five minutes or something like that. And now I'm going to work. Now I want to do something that I'm trying to actively improve on. Well, maybe it's a chord portion or maybe it's a scale. I want to know all 12 of my major scales. And I, and I mean know it. No way. Um, so I'll go to work. Maybe that's the lion's share of my practice. And then I'll probably end on some nice, uh, some, some nice uh, song I know. Don't compare yourself to anybody. Just see. So, so don't don't worry that you can't play better than I can't play as good as Joe Sample can play or whatever. <laughs> Only compare yourself to where you were yesterday. As long as you're making progress, as long as you can see that you're improving. Be all right, but the 
made you start that, yeah, my dog's bigger than your dog, and your dog, you know, and you're on the wrong track. Quick video, but I hope it was helpful to someone. Uh, leave a comment if you have some practice suggestions for the folks out there, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.